a little knockout for his record of Siki Romoy Eleja. And now we go for the third bout of the night. Two fights gone down, the third fight to come. Let's get into the ring. The box has to be caught in. Our third fight of the night is an eight-round national welterweight challenge contest. In the blue corner, Jubril Terrible Olalekon. Absolutely, and uh, well, let's hope that uh, the song ushering him into the ring is exactly going to spur him or motivate him to some uh, spectacular display in the ring right now. Talking about Jubril, he's got a, a very scary nickname, Terrible, and I love the way Benga there you got the first call, the Terrible. <laughs> let's find out whether he's as terrible as he looks. Talking about Jubril or Laleko. But he's got a formidable opponent, and he's going to need to bring his A game. When I say A game, A plus game against the one Nigerian boxing uh, enthusiast of the call, the baby face, who is not just a Nigerian champion, but is a continental and an African champion. My West African champion, you meant to say? Jibril Terrible Olaleko. In the red corner, real one, baby, baby, baby face, Baba The crowd the line but uh, it's just a shame that uh, fans are not here but that's what it is and that's the sign of the times let me uh, borrow uh, a word or a slogan there from the popular artist known as Prince and that's the club real one baby face back back today in the blue corner weighed in at 67.9 kilograms he has had one fight lost one Jubril, terrible, all oh, let In the red corner, weighed in at 67.8 kilograms. He has had 11 fights, won all 11, three by knockout. Real one, baby, baby fair. Baba today! Our judges are Femi Baba Femi, Wahab Martins, and Shei George. Our referee is Shegun Adesoya. I'm Shagun Adisana, the center referee for this bout. 
you obey my command at all times and you protect yourself. Any foul committed will be duly penalized. The chief seconds have the right to throw in the towel if any of you is in trouble. Have a good day. Greet yourself at the beginning of first round and last round. Fighting on the good, good, good jabs there coming from the terrible there, catching uh, uh, Jabril there. Uh, talking about uh, real one, real one needs to watch out from him, just like you uh, mentioned or uh, pointed out earlier. The long, longer reach of uh, the table, but uh, hopefully, you can see more of it. I, I think the terrible was trying to size out his opponent in the earlier rounds. I, I think he might be a bit more ambitious uh, when we get into the second round. When they received uh, some uh, punches, uh, big punches there. Yeah, flurry of them. Uh, for that matter. And that's what we know about today to deliver. And it delivered a whole lot uh, in that first round. Jubril or Lalikon. One fight, one loss in his career. We'll get to see the highlights. Uh. Relaxed right there in his corner. Receiving. And that's the secretary of the, the Sports Writers Association of Nigeria Lagos branch. Absolutely, Bumi Ogunyale, who is a staunch uh, uh, promoter of Nigerian boxing and sports in general. Of course, we expect that uh, being the secretary general of the, uh, one of the foremost uh, sports writing bodies in the country. Second round on. Looks like uh, Lalikon. Oh, that's another big one. Babatunde going for the kill there. And you know he never he never shies away. He, he loves never relents. 
he loves it. Oh, d fantastic Rush. combination. You can see Chichi was terrible. Rush. Holding on to him straight away. He was hurt there. Rush. Absolutely hurt with that right uh, hook on. And you can see he's definitely wrong. Rush. Absolutely wrong. Look at him. But I love what he did. You know, when you when you get hurt, you you need to not let your opponent uh, know that you have been hurt. And that's exactly what he did there. He's trying to make sure, make good use of his uh, longer reach by jabs and keeping one hand in the face. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a big body punch there. Wow. Absolutely massive there. Two. Went straight to the abdomen Three. of uh, in my four. End. Five. He needs to take his time to get Seven. over. Oh, he doesn't seem to be able to recover Seven. from that. Be over. Eight. Eight. Nine. Well, up. He's, he's up again, but can it's over? Can real one finish this off? It's over. But I, I, I'm not. I'm not too impressed with that decision from the I'm man. I'm impressed. It's over. Yeah, you could see. Well, uh, uh, maybe to get up and maybe, maybe wasn't maybe, steady when he got up. Maybe I retract my statement. You can look at him there. Terrible. I, I, I think. Oh, he's finished. Yeah, he's definitely finished. He's definitely finished. But you know, you know why they say sometimes. You try something, it doesn't work, you try something else. And that's exactly what uh, Ruan did there. You see the damage done there, that combination. Yeah. I mean, he struggled there, and that's where he actually grabbed hold. And let's see the body that. shot. That's, that's the it. body punch there. And you know what? He was right underneath the rib cage. And that's exactly... If you're not prepared for that punch, when it comes in, it's lights out. And that's exactly what happened there. Second round knockout for the West African champion, Babyface Babatunde, now 12 and 0. And now you can make that 4 KO. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, it's 7 knockouts. It's actually 7 knockouts. Yeah, sorry about that. And it's 2, two fights, 2 losses for Jabril Olaleko. He's the terrible one. Uh, well, nothing like terrible. I think he should be uh, described. His nickname is terrible. That's what I'm saying. He should be. He should be changed into something else. Oh, he's terrible. He's a terrible boxer. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it out that way. I, I don't think he's a bad boxer, but his uh, defensive boxing skills. So far, in his not career, good. he's been terrible. Yeah. Two fights and two losses. <laughs> something. Oh, okay. I don't have anything else to say. I think. He, I think he got it right there on the spot. The second bout of the day, the gold fight there. But well, we're not surprised, are we? We're talking about real one, uh, the baby face of today here, a uh, man who's taken it to the West African sub region, a uh, man who was denied by COVID 19 from becoming an African champion. And uh, he's back to say, you know what? Nobody steps in my way. I'm like a moving train. You remember that, that, that statement? I'm a moving train. train. Yeah, exactly. Let's now get your official. Ladies decision. and gentlemen, is still the lockdown edition of Go TV Boxing Night in the first minute and 54 seconds of the second round of this eight round national welder way challenge contest winner by knockout real one baby 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 fast Today. And so second round knockout for real one baby face and batting day. That's where to go. The West African champion. That man was actually to hear for the WPF African title against Walekwa uh, Saleh. I love the fact that you said he was knocked out because he was absolutely knocked out. <laughs> he was dead on arrival. Exactly. Let's go over what has happened so far tonight. The first bout, Alaba Elibao Omotola defeated, of course, a one unanimous decision against Latif Akins Akiola. And then, of course, he was followed by the national super featherweight eight rounds of boxing, Sikiru Omoe Yeleja Shokesong, beating Kazim Delai Oliwo. That was a TKO in the second round. The bout you just saw, right? Of course, you saw earlier, real one baby face, but button the second round knockout against uh, terrible Olaleko. And of course, we're up next for national light heavyweight title challenge. 
at the race battle of the night. You can see um, the special 